Excellent. So if you guys have questions in the chat, uh, send them in right now. And maybe I can look through... Uh, maybe I'll have some people send questions to uh, the mailbag, too, in the future. Give people who aren't watching live the opportunity to send in questions. But uh, we'll do a couple of those, and then we'll wrap it up for today. Is Vinny excited for the start of the UFL on Saturday, Randy says. Didn't know starting on Saturday. Um, I mean, not really. I don't cover you, you actually didn't know? Sean and I were talking about it. I forgot which week it was. Um, they took, so you must not be excited. Not really, no. Hmm. They took the Seattle team away. I don't get paid to cover football anymore. So I'll, I'll turn it on if, I, if I'm home on Saturday or Sunday and there's nothing else to do. How much do you actually like football? <sighs> not as much as I used to. Hmm. But, uh, you like it more than wrestling? These days, it depends. Depends on the wrestling? Usually, I would say no. Usually, wrestling is better these days. Hmm. This person here says, since Tony is working with Stardom, Io and Kyrie are Rossi people, Julie is going to WWE. Do you expect WWE and Rossi to work together in some way? Yes, I do. I don't know, I don't know the extent of it, but I think that they will have something that they are uh, hmm. doing together. It says, why does Brian say they're running out of time during shows, but the Garrett show sometimes goes two hours plus? Uh, well, I don't know how he encodes it, but uh, I try to encode it at uh, high quality, and uh, and so I, I get a little over 90 minutes. The other issue is Garrett and Dave do the show at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. and I start recording at 1 a.m., yeah. so I'm not going till 4 a.m. Yeah. I'm, I'm just not. I'm, so, I'm, yeah. I'm a zombie when we start. I wish we could go earlier. But it's very difficult. So uh, 90 is about all I can take. And then even going 90, it's like the next day. Uh, you put the wrong file name. Oh, you, you, you wrote collision instead of whatever. Yes, it's hard to do a show from 1 a.m. to 3 o'clock in the morning when you uh, add in everything that goes in there at the end. And I want the show to be, uh, you know, I, I encode it at a high, which I probably don't need to do, but I do. I want it to sound nice. Yep. You're an audio guy. You I don't even do know why I bother, because the content of this show, for example, what does this need to be encoded at a high bit rate for? So you can hear me do a Curtis Iakea impersonation in as high quality as possible? Do you have Rock pin Cody on night one and Cody beat Roman on night two to build Cody versus Rock for the title? I do the opposite. Mm -hmm. I have Cody pinning The Rock yeah. on night one and Cody pinning Roman a night two. I would anticipate. Don't count on the Rock ever wrestling again. Well, if he does, he's going to wrestle Roman. Yeah, sure. So if if he drops the fall, that starts the issues between him and Roman. Roman then gets beaten. Maybe even Rock turns on him. Whatever. But uh, and Cody, listen. If Cody's going to be your guy, which he is, because you're having him beat the be. Rock to win the championship, and he's been the guy all last year when Rock was gone most of the time then, yeah, you should give him as big a push as possible and have him pin Rock and Roman Reigns on the same weekend. Yes. Do you guys have WrestleMania party plans? We're going to watch it. Yeah, we don't really... Uh, I'm not going to Mania this year. Yeah, that's well, part of it. That's part of it, too. But yeah, when, when you cover it professionally, you don't really do, you don't really do parties. You may invite yeah, people over... Yeah, it ain't over. much of a party. We're just typing the entire time. You may invite people over to watch it with you, especially for... Well, it, it mattered more before the Peacock and the Network era when you know it's all 10 bucks. But if you're, if you're buying a pay-per-view, you might, might invite people over to watch it with you. But as soon as it's done, we got to go to work. Yeah. So, so kick them out. <laughs> That's essentially what happens. It's yeah. much less exciting than you guys think. I was making plans for this weekend because we are going to be home. And as it turns out, I'm going to be uh, uh, mostly alone that week. Uh, so I will be – I'm going to have time to like watch Bloodsport this year. That's exciting. I'm going to watch Bloodsport on Thursday. And then uh, the weekend will be NXT and then two nights of Mania. I don't know what else, but – well, I mean, we'll, uh, I don't do 192. Someone's asking about the bit rate. I see. I, I, I do uh, uh, 128 for those that actually care about that sort of thing. But yes, we'll do uh, WrestleMania both nights as always, uh, and probably uh, very close to when it ends, because we're going to be watching it live. And uh, again, I don't like to stay up all night if possible, because my kids get up early. Does MGF come back as a heel? I don't think so. I mean, I think he's still coming back to feud with Adam Cole. He has to. So. Like, as as much as the Undisputed Kingdom has been a letdown all in all, you can't not finish that story. You can't pretend it didn't happen. 
he has to address that before doing whatever he's going to do next. This person says, are the AW Dynamite ratings at about 800K where they are? Is there anything they can do differently? Well, you know what I would do is, uh, you know what? Didn't didn't uh, the Devil storyline win, win uh, worst storyline in the Observer this I, year? I believe it did worst feud. Okay, yeah. well, let me say something about that storyline. Whatever you thought about the Devil storyline, the fact of the matter is that storyline did good numbers and it did good quarters. And the reason for that is whether you think it was good or bad, the fact of the matter is when you have a mystery in wrestling and you have to tune in every week to find out what's next in the mystery, clues, et cetera, et cetera, stuff like that always does well. And I think one of the things about AEW is, you know, we've talked about, you know, they should advertise what's coming, et cetera. Like, that's important, obviously. Like, you should know who's on the show. You should have big matches planned and that sort of thing. Advertise them, do all of that. But, I mean, they need storylines where it's not just, you know, the storyline continues each week. But there's something about the storyline that you need to tune in to see. Yeah. Whether it's a mystery or whether they're just planting seeds, like, uh, you know, any any story. You know, take any story in WWE. You can take, you know, Judgment Day. Damian Priest is eventually going to turn. You know, what little thing did they do this week to set up the turn? Or whatever. I think that they need more stuff like that. And I don't think right now we have anything like that. I don't think that we have anything where you got to tune in the next week for the latest clue or twist or turn or whatever it's like it's very and there's something wrong with this but it's just i'm telling you it's it's we know what the pay-per-view top matches are and every week there's a different piece to the puzzle or not piece of the puzzle even it's just like there's your logical build every week promos for it they're building it up whatever but what is the you must see you've got to tune in to see this you've got to tune in to see that i think that we're missing that I'll say this. I used to think that I just wanted to watch good wrestling matches. And as much as AEW has good wrestling matches, it's missing something for me. And it was, I quit WWE a while back because it just wasn't compelling to me. I'm starting to lose a little bit of my interest in AEW now. And it's not that the wrestling's bad. It's that they don't have the stories to go along with the wrestling. I used to get upset when people said there were no stories in, in well, for example, AEW, because a good wrestling match is a good story. That's fair. And that's how I feel. But yes, uh, especially, I can't believe this next conversation is about to come out of my mouth, but since I started watching TNA again, and I kind of reminded how when a match ends... You should be excited, not just for what you just watched, but it should make you excited for something else in some way. Either this guy wins and he gets a title match, or this guy wins so he gets a new challenger, or, or, or this guy loses so he's mad at his partner, or something. But when, when the match ends, it should lead to something else down the road. It's honestly, a lot of what we see in AEW is how, when I lost interest in UFC, because the actual sport of mixed martial arts does not excite me very much, and... I, I would at one point I watched like I watched a show and there were like seven fights on it. I was like, okay, I don't care about any of that, and none of it led to anything. It was meaningless stuff. And that is how a lot of AEW shows go. Um, only I like the action better. And I, I you know, I keep going back to uh that awesome, awesome trios match on Rampage like two months ago now, with Top Flight and Penta and Vikingo and uh, I think Commander was in it. And it was awesome. Just great. And it happened. And it's there, and you can go back and watch it, look it up if you want to, but it didn't mean anything. It was irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. That pisses me off. Well, it was like that uh, day. It was, um, who was it? It was Daniel Garcia, and, and I can't even remember who it was. It was somebody. And it was like, the match, it was on collision, I think. And this should tell you everything you know about the match. I can't remember who he was wrestling. But it was like, okay, why is this match happening? I have no earthly idea. I watched the match, and it was good. And then when it was over, it's was like, okay, so what's next? Like, are they going to shoot an angle? Is there going to be a promo? What follows this match t- so that I know the reason they even bothered to put this on television? Right. And what followed was nothing. They just went to the next segment. I was like, what? 
Okay, well, we move to the next segment. I think that, yeah, I mean, it used to be every match was either the result of an angle they shot, or if it was a cold match, there was always an angle afterwards, or or whatever. Now, every now and then, it's just like, well, this match is happening because it's going to be a great match. And, you know, in the pandemic, you know, 2019, 2020, you know, WWE storytelling absolutely sucked. And a lot of the wrestling, I don't want to say it sucked, but I mean, it was just a lot of DQs, a lot of run-ins, same match every week. It was like the same old shit. And so TNA came along and it's like they're having great matches every single week. And all of a sudden everybody wanted to watch that show. Well, now WWE storytelling has massively improved. You're not getting complete bullshit in every single match. Like you get main events, you get good matches. And you can get good matches watching New Japan, get good matches watching anything you want, DDT, yep. whatever. Yep. Yep. So we need more than just, here's some good matches this week, and we're going to have some more good matches next week. We need storytelling. All right, one more. Oh, this person brings some other one. Danielson, Shane Taylor. Yeah, great match, but yeah. like, why? Why did Danielson wrestle Shane Taylor? Except it was a really good match. And then what was the follow-up? Nothing. We just had a good match. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of that lately. So much about Rock this week. So I decided a good match for Rock would be uh, Cold Stone. Strap him on. Corner post must have done damage. And Stone Cold kicked the Rock out of the ring. Shane, Shane was rooting for Rock. A closed line while down. Rock put his arm out across Stone Cold. It was just a NASA infusion. Stone Cold won the match. Cool. Can you verify we did not use AI to replace Granny? <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.